Hey, this is Matt. Once again, welcome back to another video. It's another paid request. This time from Maisie. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Now, they wanted me to do a reaction to the Saw X trailer. Now, I can't show the footage because YouTube does not like me showing footage. Because, I don't know, it's fine with other people, but with me, they get pissed. Or block it. Now, I've already seen this trailer, so it's not a first reaction, but it's more just me detailing my thoughts on it. I know also Maisie wanted to ask what newer horror films I enjoyed. Just believe it or not, there are ones I've enjoyed. Just not a whole lot this year. But yeah, for those who follow along, it's up there. There's a 2 minute 46 second trailer. It's one of those that shows a little bit I don't know why they started doing this. They've done this for years now. They show like a teaser to the trailer you're about to see. So here's, you know, five seconds of the trailer. And then watch the trailer. <coughs> but for those who do follow along, 2 minute 46 seconds, you can find it anywhere on YouTube. Just feel free to open up another browser if you want to follow along. Three, two, one, pressing play. Now, I don't mind the first Saw film. I can watch Saw 2. That's really all I like. I'm not a Saw fan of the franchise. I don't think there's enough story there. And it really does feel like the same movie over and over again. Spiral, I think, could have been different. In fact, I wish it wasn't part of the, the Saw franchise. I don't mind the song. I don't know what the song is, but I like the way the song is utilized. But it's this is a prequel, which we already know this. We already know that he had cancer. He got screwed over. He's going to work up his revenge. And this is pretty much the first people to take revenge on the people that f screwed up and fucked with him and took his money and lied to him. I just don't see why this is a story worth telling. And Tobin Bell, I think it's funny that he's looks so much older, but this is supposed to be a prequel. I mean, he looks 20 years older, but it's supposed to be a prequel of how it began. And like I'm watching this, I'm going, every, every single thing in here you have seen before. Even the traps look similar to what you've seen before. What in this trailer is different, creative, or unique? You have the puppet with a bicycle up his ass. You have the person with the pig mask. People didn't knocked out. People didn't tied up. People didn't tortured. Detective looking for it. You know how it's going to end. Especially if being a prequel. So you know. So what's the point? Okay, you see more gore death scenes. Okay, maybe for me that's just not enough nowadays. Maybe for me being 40 and being a part 10... Yeah, I expect a bit more out of a part 10. Like I said, I like the music. And there's Shawnee Smith. Shawnee Smith's in it. So. Which, I mean, it's funny. It's kind of weird they would give that away in the trailer, but I just. Get those nostalgia going. You remember Shawnee Smith? You remember Tobin Bell? Now, Tobin Bell hugged someone, so I'm guessing that's one of... I don't know if that's Shawnee Smith. It might be Shawnee Smith. It might be someone else who they hugged and blah, blah, blah. He's either Shawnee Smith or one of the other people that... Oh, I'm thankful you did this and you tortured me. Just now I appreciate my life more. Duh, duh, duh. Which I hate that concept in the Saw films. And that's the thing. like, I'm, When you watch this. 
people go, well, it's given the... F Listen, I've said this countless times for the Exorcist Believer trailer and this one. If you look forward to it, good. Cool. I can't... I don't feel the same way. How many times in my streams and my reviews and my videos where I say to each their own, we all have different opinions, we all have different tastes, if you like to teach their own or if you hate to teach their own, I've said that countless times, I know sometimes it falls on deaf ears, and do an experiment, say that, and then say, if you like this trailer, you suck. Ditch which one was going to get the immediate response and attention. You already know that. Sometimes I say it out of out over the topness, like on Dead Pit on those guys' streams. I'll be over the top and say that is just to be funny and be a smart ass. And also not to people who liked it, but to people there are people if you liked it, cool. But there's also people that like it but then are just so defending it that they get mad at someone who feels opposite. Those are people that I sometimes flick my nose at and I mean people go well you don't like horror films of nowadays there are horror films of nowadays I like to answer another part of Maisie's question to, to write some of them down I like Malignant I thought Malignant it was cool to have Basset Case meet a giallo slasher film I thought James Wan became my favorite James Wan film Malignant, I thought, was really good. Willie's Wonderland was a fun, in a way, creature feature with animatronics. Nicolas Cage was a lot of uh, fun in that. Has his flaws, but I really enjoyed Willie's Wonderland. Day Shift with Jamie Foxx. Vampire movie with a lot of good action sequences. Action horror. Love Day Shift. Get Out and Nope. Two Jordan Peele films. What is a fan of us, but Get Out and Nope, I really enjoyed those. Nope, it's more sci-fi to be fair, but tinge of horror. I like the black phone. I like the black phone. I thought Ethan Hawke did a very capable job as the villain. That was an interesting story. A uh, crawl. I thought that was an entertaining creature feature film. But I was into Aja, who did the Hills of Eyes remake in High Tension. Uh, there's this uh, low-budget film called Horror in the High Desert. Which I didn't mind the sequel, but I thought the first one was better. And it's not really, f I guess you could say it's found footage, but it's more of a fake documentary. A fake documentary about this person who did videos, camping videos, videos about trains, YouTube videos, and then went missing. And it's like a fake documentary of this person that went missing, the investigation behind it, where he went, and how he disappeared. His sister and his friend looking for him. It was a, I thought, a pretty decent horror fate documentary movie. So horror in the high desert. There are ones I like, but I'm sorry, I am not going to live stream six for the reasons I said in my review. I did not like Evil Dead Rise for the reasons I said in my review. Etch's Believer looks generic. I don't think there's any images that look creepy or disturbing. This film. It looks like if you type Saw 4 or Saw 5 or Saw 6, what's the difference between those and this other than there's no Costas Mandalore or, or or so forth. By that point, Tobin Bell's tear had been dead. But yeah, he still gets featured. Just, well, actually, this is a prequel. Actually, this takes place the same time as Saw 3. It, but being overly complicated. Life, you look through this. Slowly. I guess people say, hey, I want to see The Traps, and I want to see Tobin Bell, okay, cool, but as a guy that didn't only can watch the first two, yeah, it's not that appealing to me. You know, people say Friday the 13th was the same movie and over again, no, I would say Part 7 The New Blood is very different than Part 2, and they're both definitely different by Jason X, and by that point he went into fucking space. Elm Street, you know, even Halloween, I would say H2O is pretty different from the three, and the, those are pretty different from four. This, it's a 
again. He goes into the hospital. He's sick. He talks with these people who mislead him. They didn't really do the surgery they wanted. He got screwed over. We already know this. If you've seen the other Saw films, you already know all this stuff. Well, you have to see the film. Well, I didn't. I have no interest in it. He starts building his traps. These are the first people he decides to kill. Or whatever the, his goal is to punish. These are the first people. The pit mask, he's probably putting it. Well, I guess by this point, he's going to get Shawnee Smith. Maybe Shawnee Smith was the first test subject. I don't know. Oh, by the way, I'm trying to remember in Saw 1. They didn't make it seem as if Jigsaw was a thing already when Shawnee Smith was asked. I, I can't remember if they said she was the first victim. I can't remember. It's been so long that I've seen it. Maybe they did, and I apologize for not remembering. So, okay, so Shawnee Smith is in the pid mask. The trailer kind of gave that away. It was that Shawnee Smith, and it's, uh... Well, yeah, they gave it away at the end. They knock him out. So, okay, you'd already see the film already. Maybe they show Shawnee Smith at the beginning. Maybe they wait and save that for later. He's sick. He goes in. They, he talks to these people. They screw him over. They each did not doubt. They wake up in here. You introduced to the, the puppet. Again, with a bite up his ass. Here's all these people. Here's all these traps. Here's a timer. Either interspersed with Tom and Bell being melancholy about it. Or him making more traps, seeing that the intricate ways he does this. Kramer, brain cancer, 250k. So that's probably them screwing him over to try to get his money. Looks like there's going to be some cops investigating, but there's a guy with a gun. Someone get their fingers up. I don't know if that's this. Getting the traps. This guy's got to dig into his brain. I'm going to look and slowly through this. There's a little explosion here. Looks like the where the traps are at. So maybe someone trying to escape or maybe just all letting them escape. Some guys with guns in a van. Maybe either if this is all part of some steam to rip them off, maybe these guys are part of it. They want to find out where their cohorts are at. This is one guy with a gun. Looks like either he's a cohort with them or a cop hired or something. Probably they got the gun pointed at Tobin Bell's head. He's hugging someone. I don't know if that's Shawnee Smith, like I said, or someone else. And Shawnee Smith from the Blah remake at the end there. So I just. What is it about this that makes you go, oh my god? That. What makes this different from. I guess other than Tobin Bell will be in it more. That would, if that gets you excited, cool. It doesn't for me. It's not a story that interests me. I don't care about how it began. I got enough of that information. Saw one and some of the early films. Saw one, saw two. The traps, they're just not as. They were interesting at first, but now they all just look the same. Because now you've done 10 films involving traps, they just feel the same. 
there's only so many ways you put traps on a person. Their fingers, their eyes, their hands, or their heads. There's only so many ways you put someone in contraption of that nature. I mean, I know they may solve video games. Uh, like I said, if you look forward to it, more power to you. It just looks like the same movie oh, that I've seen so many times over. The prequel, more Tone Bell approach, just doesn't intrigue me enough as maybe it does others. So, it does you teach their own? But yeah, I, some of the horror films I mentioned, I'm more into those. I said Willy's Wonderland, Crawl, Malignant, Nope. Uh, I didn't, it's more sci fi. Get Out, Horror in the High Desert, etc. I'm either more into their stories or more into their characters. Here's the thing again it's predictable. You know how it's going to end. You know where Tobin Bell's going. You know where Shawnee Smith's going. So it's a prequel that I'm not interested in. Because that's the problem with prequels. You know the ending. You know where it's going. You got, I don't give a shit how it began. That just that type of stuff doesn't interest me. Those type of stories of how it began. To me, the ending is the most important part of a story, not the beginning. It can be important, but it's not the most important for me. I'll put it that way. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.